Hey, what's up? It's your boy Jack, and can I talk to you? I feel like water. Oh, yeah, come and talk to me. No. <laughs> I was just listening to that earlier today. I love 90s R&B. Anyways, what I want to talk to you guys about is something that my friends often, friends in all places I used to live at, and they come tell me that they do not go to church, but they're still Christians. And I want to smack the bejesus out of them because that's nonsense. Let me tell you something. If you are a Christian, you need to be going to church. Here are the excuses they give me. One, it's too many hypocrites in church. It's too many people that go to church. There's too many pimps and liars and the past is sleeping around. And it's too many sinners in church. As if it's that's somewhere else better for a sinner to be than in church. If there's hypocrites leading your church, let me tell you this. Go and find a different church. And if it's hypocrites leading the next church, go and find a different church. You are obligated as a Christian to find where God has placed you to be because this Christian walk. Over and over, it's too many verses for me to even count. The whole book of Acts talks about the importance of the church. If you talk about the books after Acts, from 1 Corinthians to Galatians, you will see. It's, it, from Titus to 1 Peter, oh my gosh, Like you, you will see so many instructions of how church and Christians are supposed to be body of believers are supposed to answer the structure of the church how they're supposed to be a pastor how they're supposed to be elders how they're supposed to be deacons how you're supposed to answer to somebody i said a key phrase back there which is the main reason why people do not want to go to church i went to church today you know why some people were not there because they don't want to answer to nobody they want to do their own thing at the time they want to do it I felt like that before, too, because I have a sin nature. And my sin nature tells me, I don't want to answer to him. If I'm doing something wrong in my household, this my household. I don't want to listen. There's a lot of justifiable reasons why some people are saying churches are getting weaker. Why there's things going wrong that the churches need to address. But there are still good churches out there, and they need membership. I would not mind seeing some of these good churches that only have a few hundred members turn into mega churches because people are trying to find good churches, but they aren't. They sit at home and they claim they have a church at home when they haven't opened the Bible in months. And I know that because when you talk to them and you ask them about the biblical foundation for doing what they have to do, they usually have no good answer for you. They usually don't want to answer to anybody else, and they don't want to have accountability. Here's the other reason why people don't want to go to church. They have sin in their heart that they have not addressed. A lot of people skip church because they know, and some of they are real Christians, mind you. These are people that have, they have God speaking to them and telling them what they're living like is not right. But instead of going to church and dealing with that, they rather stay in their life of sin because they don't want that voice of the Holy Spirit to be louder than what they've numbed it to be. So they will sit at home and say, you know what? I'm living a sinful sexual life with my girlfriend and people at church make me feel bad about that. Let me stay home. Oh, I don't discipline my kids, right? We skip church to go to football practice every other week. I don't want to hear people talking to me about that. I'd rather stay home. Oh, you know what? I'm living a sexual promiscuous lifestyle. I'm sleeping around. I'm using drugs occasionally. I smoke a little weed here and there. I don't want people at church challenging me about that. I'm going to stay home. Oh, I got drunk last night. I went to the club. I was doing all types of things I shouldn't have been doing. I don't want to hear about that no more. I don't want people making me feel bad about my life. I want to feel good. I'm not getting good vibes. I ain't getting good energy from church, so I'm not going to go. That's the reason. Here's another reason. I'm going to tell you, and this is the most bluntest reason of all why people do not want to go to church. The main reason why people don't want to go to church is because they don't have the Holy Spirit to begin with. Uh oh! Did I speak some truth? Or did I speak some truth? The main reason why people don't want to go to church is because it takes the Holy Spirit being inside of you to want to be around other believers. 
If you don't have the Holy Spirit inside of you, if you are not saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, believing that he died on the cross for your sins and rose again on the third day for your sins. And that he overcame sin for you and changed your life. If you don't have that, then you ain't going to want to be around other believers. You won't have a burning desire and you can go years and years and years without doing it. And you can come on Easter and think you did the pastor and everybody a favor. Cause you showed up in a nice suit and sat and came in late and sat with your mom and, and and put on your church clothes for one day out of the year. You think you're doing God a favor. Most people who do that are not saved. They don't know God personally because guess what? When I have an intimate relationship with my wife, imagine if I had an intimate relationship with my wife and I said, you know what? I see her once a year from time to time, once a month. Once a month, I go sleep over there. Yeah, we married. Yeah, I love her. But, you know, I don't got to see her every day. <laughs> every day? I got to see my wife every day? Imagine if I said that. Imagine. <laughs> I got to see her once a week? You must be crazy. She a stalker. People act like you can have a relationship with Jesus Christ, that he has changed your life to completely. And you can go along your life without having the desire to be around other believers. We need other believers to keep us on a straight path. We need them to hold us accountable. Church is way much more than going and singing a song and feeling good about yourself. It's as a whole deeper value than that. My brothers and sisters hold me accountable when I praise in the midst of other people. I can feel the presence of God because God says where two or more are gathered, he's there. People want to use that verse against people too, like, me and my wife have church at home, two or more gathered. No, you're not. Because when you and your wife got problems, who you going to? What elder are you speaking to? What people who have more knowledge about the gospel than you are you talking to? Another reason, people got too much pride. They don't want to admit somebody no more than them. I've been teaching the word of God for the last 20 years, since I was 17 years old. And a lot of things that I see in church is people will come into church and they will be like, huh? I don't like that this little dude, this young dude, know more than me. He think he telling me things about my. I don't want to hear that. I don't. Want, and they got too much pride. Drop your pride. Find a good church and go to it. Be faithful in it. Get active in it, and stay in there and do what God called you to do.